Welcome to the Eric Abbasar Show. Definitely a feeling of frustration today as Liverpool dominated the game from start to finish against Everton in the Merseyside derby at Anfield, yet only came away with a point to show for it, drawing one all against uh, the Blues at Anfield, just uh, such a frustrating game. That is really the operative word here. Mohamed Salah scored a sensational goal in the first half, canceled out uh, by Wayne Rooney's penalty in the second half. But man, oh man, was that penalty a terrible call. The striker was leaning in to Dijan Lovren, so obviously begging for the penalty. Uh, you know, yeah, Lovren put his hands on him, but was that a pen? You look at the replay, look at the gifts, look at all of it absolutely not the wrong call and uh you know the reds paid for it they also paid for it when sadio mane took a shot missed badly we could have easily passed it off for an empty net finish to two other reds uh selfish play from mane there that ultimately ended up costing the reds you know it's been a tough year for mane he's for me, still the best player at Liverpool, even with Mohamed Salah scoring 19 goals in his first 24 games. A truly remarkable uh, statistic right there. But Mane, when he is firing, is truly unstoppable. He hasn't really gotten to that point this season so far with the red card, with the injuries and all that. But hopefully he'll get it together and hopefully he'll learn from that massive mistake he made. Now, Jordan Henderson not only has no business wearing the captain's armband, he also has no business being the captain for Liverpool, of course. I mean, he slows down play so much. The Reds are just so much more free-flowing without him. It's not a coincidence that Henderson did not play in Liverpool's 7-0 win against Spartak Moscow in midweek. This team is better off without him. I think the team is better off with him. Uh, Robertson in the lineup ahead of Moreno, of course, Moreno out injured. Get well soon, Albie, but man, I do like what I saw from Robertson for the most part today. You know, people were saying, is Robertson going to play? Is Milner going to play? Actually, the answer was both. It was a day to rotate players, Solanke and Oxlade-Chamberlain starting in place of Coutinho and Firmino, both of whom came on and, you know, looked a little menacing at times. Of course, Coutinho's free kick was saved pretty easily uh, by Pickford. But, you know, you have to resign yourself to certain realities at this point. Daniel Sturridge is going to leave uh, in January. When Klopp is picking Danny Ings over Danny Boy, Studge, the Studge master, it's, it's over for him. Studge needs to get game time to make the England World Cup squad, and he's not going to get it at Liverpool, which is a painful reality uh, to have to face. But, look, Liverpool had 80% possession. Everton had the worst... Uh, possession total they've ever had in the Premier League since they've started tracking the figure back in 2003. So, you know, the Toffees really had no business coming away with the point, yet they did. It was a great opportunity for Liverpool to move up in the table with Arsenal drawing against Southampton, Chelsea losing yesterday against West Ham, and that's what makes this draw all the more frustrating. But you can't deny that this team is still making progress under Jurgen Klopp, trending in the right direction. But how much better can they get with the likes of of Ragnar Klavan and Dijan Lovren starting at center back? Well, only so much. So fingers crossed, we see Joe Gomez starting at center back sooner rather than later. So thank you so much for tuning in, Reds fans, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel.